So now we're gonna do the levator scapula. This is an elevator of the shoulder. It's often referred to as the stress muscle. It also laterally tips the cervical spine to the same side and pulls the head back. So what we're gonna do is reduce that muscle. Its attach point point is on the superior ridge of the scapula. So if he rolls his shoulder forward a little bit, right on that ridge of his scapula, underneath of his trapezius, there's a little bulge if you go medial lateral and that's where the ball is gonna to go. To stretch it, he's going to rotate his scapula forward under pressure with his head laterally tilted and rotated. So you would see that action as your body would go into scapular adduction or away from the, the spine. So he's gonna do that by placing the ball on the top of that scapula. He's gonna brace his body weight into the wall. He's gonna put the weight of his body into the left leg so the left leg's compressed, the right leg is just hovering behind him, slightly flexed. He's gonna hold on to that pressure and hold it there for about 30 seconds. Let the muscle relax. We wanna get the initial relaxation response from the passive release. So do some deep rhythmic breathing. As soon as the muscle softens for the first time, then you're gonna go into active release where his shoulder's gonna roll forward. So he's gonna drop his shoulder inward. As he does that, his arm can come kind of internally. He's gonna tip his head to the left and rotate looking into the same side and then relax it and then sink into it. So he's gonna breathe out as he tucks his chin, laterally tips his head, rotates his chin to the same side, rotates the shoulder in, breathe out, pull the ribs down, and then breathe in and relax and sink back into the belly. So you could go through about six to 10 breathing cycles, making sure not to pull too hard. Make sure that as you tip your head and rotate, you don't feel any strain into the neck. And again, see if you can increase the mobility by increasing the internal rotation of the shoulder. That brings us to the end of levator scapula.